right, boys and girls, I'm just going to hop right in here. Uh, my name is Christian Crowder. I'm the president of American BitPower. Uh, I'd say Bitcoin hosting operation. So I take people's miners and take care of them and try to run them as best as I can and look and find every way we can uh, make some extra money. So recently, I've uh, been working with Brains OS custom firmware. In, I'm working with mostly S19s, and so I have a couple thousand miners to work with and experience putting them on them. And wanted to share with you guys some of the results, some of the benefits, and because uh, th there's a lot to cover it. And you know, it's a it's a really deep dive, and I've been getting into it over the past uh, month playing with the firmware. And I got to say, the results are really, really impressive. So to start with, I just want to talk about when we're when we're discussing profitability, when we're discussing like like why are we doing this? Like if the manufacturers knew everything they were doing, and uh, they they really understand what they're doing, why are we going in and we're tinkering with things? What 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 is the deal? So let me go ahead and just open up a little chart here for you. So what you got here is. A chart of it's like a heat map of daily profit uh, by hash rate and watts per terahash. So in a perfect world, you want to have absolutely maximum maximum daily profit, right? So you'd be closer to this bottom left of this chart, but three dollars five cents a day, and that's assuming you know absolute lowest efficiency that you typically see on S19s, A pros around 26 watts you can get it below that but this is just sort of give you a give you bearings of the field of play here so if we were able to somehow make a miner push out 139 tera hash and do so at 26 watts this is about the amount of profit we could expect to see around three dollars five cents opposite end of the spectrum the worst thing we want to do is we're running very very low tera hash and we're using very very inefficient miners to do so this would be some of your earlier like s19 t's your regular s19s they sit in the range of like 35 watts per tear hash and they might sit at something like 90 watts something or i'm sorry 90 tear hash something like that you get into like your xps your xps are pushing 140 tera hash but they're doing so at an efficiency that's actually off this chart uh, they reach around 21 watts per terahash. So just to kind of give you some bearings of how these things relate and what kind of results you end up getting when you do that. So one thing to note, and I like to use this graph to illustrate it, this is just looking at all you know, a grouping of about 500 miners that I have in my facility. And what you see is there's a vast range of of miners and they have different limits of where they can go. This is showing the amount of terahash vertically and how many watts it took to get them on the horizontal axis. So you have outliers that, you know, like this guy who can consume 3,300 watts and is producing 110 terahash. And then you've got guys all the way over here that are producing, you know, 95 terahash for 2,400 watts. You just have like these huge ranges of all these possible outcomes. So something to know is like when a chip is rated at 90 terahash or 98 terahash, it, uh, it, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. You know, there's just natural variances in the silicon, they call it the silicon lottery, where you're gonna have some chips that perform much, much better than others. And therefore, when you go to tune them, you're gonna see a great, great variance in the results. So it's not really, I couldn't give you a very good idea of you know, if you have one specific miner, what kind of results you should expect for that one specific miner? Because it's very, very much a case by case basis and the, um, the efficiency increase expectations you could get from a miner could vary anywhere from 10 to 20% per miner. But by and large across the board, it's a very good idea to do so. And I, would, I just wanna show you a sampling from my operations, what I'm seeing. So this is, well, let me first, let's talk about efficiency. We want increases in efficiency, of course. That across the board is gonna be a better thing. So what we, what I found, and this is just among my fleet of S19s and S19J Pros, is that 
I saw about an average of a 9 to 10 percent efficiency increase across the whole operation with some efficiency increases as high as 15 percent, particularly on the S19J Pro 90 terahash units. Those really saw a huge jump in efficiency compared to any other model of miner. They, and so there's groupings and such that I can go over later, but the bottom line is it does have a very significant improvement and that improvement is even greater if you can keep the miners cooler. Uh, I was seeing an average of 5% improvement at a 70 degree chip limit or chip temperature, but drop that down to 60 and that doubles from 5% to 10%. So it's really helpful to keep your chips cool, which is something Brains OS does by causing them to consume less power. It's actually much, much easier to keep the chips cool as well. So there's lots of reasons to use Brains OS because it can make it much, much easier to cool your mine. Ultimately, you're gonna have to have the infrastructure in, uh, in place to keep it cool. But if you can also, you know, if you designed for one level, of performance and now okay all of a sudden I have to I can dissipating three to four hundred watts less heat per miner chances are you're gonna be able to hit these temperature targets uh, much more easily in a lot more environments so I just want to open up this graph to give you an idea if you're sitting you can see this guy sitting here around 27 and a half bump into almost 30 and uh, I see this across the board uh, they do very, very well. Now, let's look at why do we do all this? Who cares, you know, about everything? We want to know how much more money we're going to make out of this deal. So, your orange line is current profitability of my miners after applying a temp, like across the board, a 10% lower power limit target. So, after dropping that, you know, we're seeing what? A 5 to 10% improvement in efficiency, but check out the profitability improvement. We're seeing miners that, you know, just in my setup, more expensive power. It's very, very expensive power just as a hosting operator. We're at about 8.5 cents right now in the contracts. Well, we're going from miners making a buck 50 a day all the way to $2 and beyond. So they're seeing, you know, anywhere from a 25 to 35 increase in profits. So, and, you know, Brains OS, they charge a 2.5% uh, revenue fee, but from what you know the fact that it's free to install uh, it, it's an absolute no-brainer and absolute steal so that was just a quick overview there's i'm going to make more videos kind of discussing particular miners discussing you know just things to look out for how you should apply these settings there's definitely a little bit of a trick to tuning certain aspects of it and there's just a lot of things to consider when it comes to your operation and how you want to manage this but overall, very good idea. I will be including a link uh, to go ahead and download Brains OS. And if you want to contact me, you can reach out to me on my uh, Telegram channel. And I'd be more than happy to work something out and uh, help you guys get set up. So thank you for your time and happy mining.